Hello, and welcome to Healing the Past by Arian Saris. Today, we're going to look at opposition. This exercise works very well with people who have negative beliefs about themselves. I will describe this exercise in terms of weight, but you can substitute any unwanted or troublesome emotions or issues like feeling unworthy, ashamed, guilty, depressed, etc. 1. Close your eyes. Concentrate on your self-image and enhance the feeling you wish to release. If you believe you are overweight, feel how wonderful it is to be that weight, how great it feels to eat all the food you want that keeps you at that weight, or makes you even larger. 2. Think of the benefits to yourself to be at this weight. Yes, there are benefits. Being heavy may make you feel safer, able to avoid unsafe feelings emotions, relationships, commitments, or unwanted advances. 3. If you cannot think of any benefits, ask your higher self to reveal the positive purpose for your behavior, attitude, or feeling. 4. Acknowledge your body for doing what it needed to keep you safe. Thank you, body, for keeping me safe from harm by being fat. 5. If shame, guilt, anger, or other feelings arise as you do this visualization, acknowledge their presence and take a deep, deep breath to release them. Imagine them as grey colors being expelled with each breath. 6. Fill yourself with enjoyment of being large, letting it expand throughout your body so you tingle and vibrate with satisfaction. See yourself eating food and enjoying the experience, even if most of your mind protests, say thank you, and focus on the enjoyment of being that large size. 7. Then imagine a large sunken bathtub filled with gold liquid. Climb into it. Sink all the way down so the liquid covers your head. You can breathe in gold. Stay in there for a few minutes and then climb out, leaving any emotions, feelings, energies and weight that you're ready to release in the liquid. 8. Say the following forgiveness affirmations. Both of them will stir up a lot of feeling. A. I forgive my body for being the way it is. B. I forgive myself for being the way I am. 9. Repeat step 7. This will begin to dissolve a lot of the emotion stirred up by saying those affirmations. 10. Repeat steps 4 to 7 again and again until you feel more comfortable with yourself or the negative feeling. 11. Do this imagery before meals and every time a strong desire arises to eat something that would perpetuate your negative picture. 12. For other emotions, repeat these steps except enhance that feeling of shame, depression, guilt, rage, etc. Each time you do these steps, you will reduce that feeling in your body because you embrace the opposition, not fuel it. As you let the feelings get expressed, they can be rinsed away in the gold bath. As a further incentive, as you do step five, Find a spot about one inch below each of your lower eyelids at the midpoint and tap that point 25 times. This is a meridian point that activates release of reversed or polar energies. Please note that this step, adapted from Roger Callahan's book, Why Do I Eat When I'm Not Hungry? 
Avon Books 1991, works for all feelings, not just food cravings. I hope you've enjoyed today's session and look forward to meeting you again. Perhaps when you're not so fucking fat, you fat fucking cunt.